Um, but who is the character that you play, and sort of what's the what's the story of I Smile Back? I play Lainey, and she's a suburban housewife and mother with a great husband and two great kids who is a drug addict and has made it work for a while and, until it doesn't. Um, she suffers from depression. She's, she suffers from mental illness and she self-medicates. And uh, she feels a lot and covers it expertly and she um, lives in anxiety you know we all go we all tell ourselves horror stories like well what if what if what if I never write another joke what if I never fall in love again what if that's anxiety and, and she lives in that space and and when you do what if I ruin my kids what if my genes are passed down what if I abandon them what if I it, it there's no room for anything else and um, it, it kind of becomes a self-fulfilled prophecy you know people think that's self-hatred and self-deprecation is some kind of modesty it's not it's it's all consuming it's self-obsession and she's not a bad person she's just life is very hard for her there are people who have had worse childhoods than Lainey um, who have persevered with a plum but, but um, it's not a competition life is very hard for her she's doing the best she can with what she's got like everybody is and what I love about the movie is that people will leave the theater feeling very different ways. You know, it's like the blind men and the elephant. You know, they're, they're, you're going to see, you're going to have empathy for her. You're going to have total disdain for her. There are so many things you can walk away with. It's completely subjective, and it's because everyone has been on one side or the other of depression, of mental illness, of addiction, and they are seeing this movie through the prism of their own experience, their life experience that they're coming in to the theater with. That's what they're bringing to it. So it's subjective, it's very, and I love that. I love that about art. Um, the world is very comfortable and trusts you as a comedian. Um, what uh, what about your comedic background sort of helped you with this role, or did it? Yeah, I think every everything I've done up until now has helped inform some part of this for me. And you know, comedy and drama they they share a lot of the same bones. You know, comedy comes from darkness. It's born almost always born out of darkness. It's a survival skill. It's a, it's a way, comics have to become funny for some reason or another in order to survive something in their childhood usually. And uh, so there's a, a natural darkness there. And, and the thing we have in common is um, everybody is tr surviving their childhood and then trying to survive the skills they've had to hone in order to survive their childhood in adulthood, to unlearn certain things. So, um, you know, we realize about our parents when we get older, like, that they're just real people. And not only that, but they're also trying to survive their childhood. And um, so I think that comedy and drama share a lot of the same bones and, and just the way all people do, you know. My last one, I know you're probably um, not going to toot your own horn about your own performance, but what are some of the reasons to go see this film, like all of the great performances in, you know, with Josh and I, I never, I'm not good at selling myself or anything I do, but uh, it may be your cup of tea. Um, you, if it's your cup of tea, I will be so happy. And, uh, and what I love about it is how subjective it is, how what you take away from it is going to be different than the person next to you and, and you can talk about it forever. You're gonna be thinking about it, I think. I am still, I mean. Um, yeah, and I think people will have conversations about it. We've had a lot of them. It's a conversation starter. So uh, yeah. Cool. Sounds good to you, go see it.